The parable of the Good Samaritan says to us, brothers and sisters, don't just stand there, do something. But the parable of the weeds in the field says, don't just do something, stand there. And wisdom is is knowing when to do something and when to do nothing. And I submit to you that it takes more faith to do nothing sometimes than it takes to do something. Here in the text, we are confronted with our activist nature. We are activists by nature and something in us, friends, always desires to find a way to help God out. And in trying to help God out, we just get in the way. Remember when Jesus was passing through the village that did not receive him and James and John said, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven and send judgment on these people? The Lord rebuked them. And I submit he rebukes everyone who has activist tendencies to take matters into their own hands. This parable is a reminder that our ultimate task is to reach sinners, not fix society. Remember that no matter how things look, there was no threat to the harvest. The master had everything under control. And in reality, friends, the servants were a greater threat to the harvest than the enemy. Nothing the enemy did threatened the landowner's harvest. But the enemy was trusting that some servant would be a sucker enough to do his dirty work for him against the master's agenda. Oh, friends, this parable is a reminder that the kingdom is about the king. Not our causes, not our agenda, not our politics. The kingdom is about the king, and the king has everything under control. When you question that, go read Psalm 2. While the nations rage and the people's plot in vain, and the kings take counsel together, and the rulers plot and plan, the Bible says, he that sits in the heavens laugh, divine or rather, human rebellion is divine comedy. God laughs at man's puny attempts to get rid of him. But notice God's response to evil. The master says, verse 29, No, leave, leave, leave the field alone, lest in gathering the weeds you root up the wheat along with them. The, the, the master is not indifferent. He has more at stake here than the servants do. Yet, He disagrees with the strategy of the servants. It is because the master is wiser than the servants. He knows the difference between reaction and response. He knows the difference between the good and the best. He knows the difference between the immediate and the ultimate. He he seems to be too passive, indifferent, and uncaring about what's happening in his own field. But that looks can be deceiving. The, the master is now unconcerned about the weeds in the field. Lord have mercy. He's just operating from a different timetable. The servants are preoccupied with now. The master is waiting on the time of the harvest. This is why... We must be careful about activist solutions, taking matters in our own hands and getting in God's way. We got to learn to be wise and patient and tolerant. I, I, because God will fix it when the harvest comes. 